In this video, we're going to take a look at how to make an XY scatter plot graph. And the whole purpose of this type of graph is to compare two different um, number data sets to see if they are comparable or, or what relation they have together. Uh, and this is an example of an XY scatter plot. In this example, I found just by doing a quick Google search, we've got surface temperature, and we're comparing that to simulation time. And so you see we've got two numerical values here uh, on our, for our X and Y axis, and we've got all these little points on our, on our graph, and these are different data points. And from this, we can do a couple of different extra calculations. This happens to be a line of linear regression, uh, and I'll show you how to do that in a, in a, a future video. Um, but we can do some different calculations from then. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an XY scatterplot graph in Excel. So I've got my data set up here. Um, again, we're looking at enzyme concentration drops, and I've got one, two, three, four, five drops, a uh, number of drops. I've got eight total trials, and I'm, I already have calculated the mean and the standard deviation, which I've shown in a previous video of how to calculate those. And so based off of this data, now um, I want to calculate or, or create a graph in order to do so. Um, depending on your version of Excel, the steps that I walk through to create your graph is going to be a little bit different, potentially. Um, probably the easiest way to do this is uh, to go up to the insert on your uh, so from the insert um, drop down menu um, you can insert a chart and on my version of Excel it, it pulls up this menu bar here and I'm going to select the scatter plot in just a second now the the information of the data that I want to graph is not all of these individual trials um, I want to graph the overall averages because by doing more trials, we're getting a more conclusive average. Um, the more trials that we have, the better. And so I want to use this average or this mean that I've already calculated um, from some previous calculations. So I'm going to highlight this set of data, uh, this row of data, and I'm going to click the scatter. And I want to do a marked scatter. So if I, I'm going to move this over a little bit and make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it, um, you can see we've got a couple of different data points here. Um, on our X and Y axis. So before this graph can be done, there's quite a few other things that we need to add to this, primarily being a title. Um, we need to modify both of our axes. And uh, most importantly and firstly, we can delete this series one. So I'm going to click on that box and I'm just simply going to click delete and it will get rid of that. I don't need that in this graph. Um, the first thing that we want to do is edit our axes. And so right now, uh, this is the different uh, enzyme concentrations and on our x-axis is the number of drops. So I want to edit both of these. Um, so I'm going to click on the graph and I'm going to right click on it and I want to go to select data. And so my series one is just the, the group of data that I have right now. I've got y values but I want to add x values. So I'm going to click on this button right here which will allow me to select the x values. And I'm going to highlight one through five, these are the different trials, these are the different, excuse me, these aren't trials, this is the different number of drops. Press enter and press OK. Um, obviously this didn't change anything because it had already been one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Excel automatically uses that. Uh, if these numbers had been to something different, um, let's say maybe this was 2.2, .2, um, these, these would change um, within the, the labeling. You can see that this this uh, shifts here slightly. Um, so the next thing I want to do is add some labels to the axes. And to do that, I'm going to click on Chart Layout. And I can add a title. I can add axis titles. Um, and so let's do those first. I want to add a horizontal uh, below the axis. And this is going to be number of enzyme drops. And my vertical is going to be enzyme uh, reaction. Um, if you have units uh, and uncertainty, you will want to include both of those on your axes, uh, on your labels. Um, with the drops, if you're using just a, a general dropper or if you're using a digital device or whatever it may be, it's going to be half, plus or minus half of the smallest unit of measure, 
measurement. So you'd want to uh, include that in here. Um, the last thing that I would need to do is add a chart title. And I can do that above. And so this would be um, number of drops to, um, effect of number of drops on enzyme reaction. So for the most part, we're done with our graph here. Um, in the next couple of videos, I'll show you how to add in lines of linear regression or um, uh, also add in error bars as well, uh, depending on what it is you're trying to show with your graph. But this is kind of some basic steps of how to, to create an XY scatter plot.